this has become something of a sadly, tragically, fairly regular occurrence. Many had thought that perhaps with winter coming, the numbers would taper off, but it has been, in fact, quite the opposite. The incident that happened this morning over in that direction, further north than where we are right now, but all along this coastline for hundreds of kilometers max are various different launching points for migrants and refugees hoping to make the trajectory to Greece. We are heading towards Lesbos right now. It's about 10 kilometers away, all in all about an hour's journey. Just to give you a little bit of an idea of the sheer scale of what it is that is happening here. In October, according to Frontex, 150,000 people cross from various different points in Turkey trying to make it to Greece. That is 13 times the number of people that made this very same journey back in 2014. And I have to say that sitting here right now, one can't help but really being struck by the injustice of it all and just how people are capitalizing on the misery of these migrants and refugees. This boat that we're in, for example, costs about $650 to make the trip for us. There are ferries that leave on a regular basis from Ivaluk that we just departed from that cost about $30 per person. These migrants and refugees, amongst the most desperate of people's max, are being charged anywhere from $1,000 to $2,000 to make this very same journey, most often in the dead of night, with no real captain to try to guide them to where they're going. And let's not forget, packed into these barely seaworthy rubber dinghies, Max. It is beyond imperative at this stage that the international community find some sort of solution to the crisis because the numbers at this stage are not decreasing. They're increasing. And with those increasing numbers, Max, so are the increasing numbers of people, children, who are also dying.